In our previous example, the flow targets were not achieved throughout the entire planning horizon. You will now modify the harvest flows so that the target is met in all periods. There are an infinite number of ways of doing so, so you need some guidelines. In our case, we want to maximize the early period harvest and gradually drop down to a long-run sustained yield harvest. Further, the drop in harvest from one period to the next cannot exceed 10% and the harvest is never to drop below the long-term sustainable yield. So first we have to create a new rule set. We do so by um, going into the according window here on the left side in my case and once again right clicking into the empty area and select new rule set from the drop down list that appears. We give our new rule set a name in this little list here. Long term sustainable yield or long run sustainable yield is basically equivalent and we use the same as abbreviation so we don't get confused if we find one or another throughout our module and click OK. You will find your new rule set under this tab down here and you will instantly realize that whatever you defined as rules in your old rule set or parameters will not be copied into your new rule set and you uh, have to add the desired parameters for each new rule set by hand. In this rule set we will modify the harvest targets according to a table taken from the tutorial. The harvest flows in this table were derived by trial and error and represent one possible solution to our scheduling problem. The table looks like this and you can find it in the according PDF. And what we have to do now is to enter these flows and harvests into our table here. Once again we have to highlight the two rows and then press Ctrl and the down arrow together to create new rows in this table. In total we will need 24 rows and then we will fill the empty cells with the information from the table. Year 10 or the first period is related with the harvest flow of 200,000 cubic meters. The second period or year 20 is related with the harvest flow of 195,000 cubic meters and so on. After successfully filling in all the rows in our new rule set, we have to set the harvest priority to age. We do this by clicking on the parameter button on the top here and then selecting age from the drop down menu under default and sort. Now we can go ahead and carry out in a new run. We do so by simply pressing the start button in our runs window again. We want to change the rule set from 1 to 4 as obviously this is the rule set that we want to apply now. We push yes and you should get a result looking something like this. Note that the growing stock on the right side displays similar trends to the last harvest schedule but it hasn't hit rock bottom yet.